Okay. Everybody want to do Pilates? Everybody talking about it? Pilates princess. Pilates girl. Blah, 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 blah. Baby. Good morning, loves. I'm extremely annoyed. Um, I'm sure, or I'm hoping by the time, um, obviously I edit this vlog, that in the thumbnail you see that I tried Pilates for the first time today. My windshield wipers are literally stopped. Turn off. Turn them off. I think they're off. Um, so, hopefully um, that goes well. However, the reason I'm annoyed is because I, is my camera fucking dying? Of course it is. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have one of my bad. I do, I do, but now I can't even finish this because now I need to, let me, let me just order this coffee then try again. Okay, so we're in the line, we're getting coffee, thank God. It is 8.54 in the morning. Um, the reason I'm annoyed is because the night before last, I set up all night long editing day two of the LA vlog. And I was like, okay, I was like, I've been staying up all day. I was like, it's almost 10 a.m. I work at 4.30, so I fell asleep at like literally right at 10.30. And then, you know, got like four hours of sleep. And then I was like, okay, well, now I'm going to be tired when I get home from work tonight. Tell me why I was in the house by 1.30. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, baby. I'm just tired, but you know. You know, that's why we're going to get you out. Uh, right? <laughs> I got it. Thank you, ma'am. I will have that right out for you. Okay? Thank you. I was like, oh, I'll be tired when I get home. And I literally didn't get tired until exactly 6 30 today. And I had to be up at 8 because I scheduled my Pilates class for the first one in the morning, which is at 9 15. So, I've had literally an hour of sleep, and we're on our way to try our first Pilates class. And I can't even be excited about it because I'm so damn tired that I'm so annoyed. And what makes me even more annoyed is I just feel like maybe after this class, I'm literally going to be wide awake again and not getting any rest. I don't know. I'm just more irritated. Okay? More irritated. If you've made it this far, hi, my name is Joe. Like, subscribe, um, you know, lifestyle, beauty, fashion, fitness, all the content um, on the channel. If you guys are interested in that and then my uh, hectic ranting like I'm doing right now because I'm so annoyed, please, please subscribe. Like, all the things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, I guess I'm going to boot, scoot, and boogie from here. I have to go to Walgreens and pick up some Pilates socks because I scheduled the class with a reformer and apparently the reformer means it's the machine that it goes with. I never did Pilates. Um, so I need some socks apparently for this. So Walgreens store next door. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I probably didn't even need this rack. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. I got this drink. You have a good morning. You too, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. No problem. Um, so I got a new drink yesterday and I actually really liked it. It's just a grande shaken espresso with three classic pumps. I'm assuming the classic pumps are just like probably, you know, sugar. Um, easy Kia. I'm sorry. I was cutting it a little wide, so I'm going to let you have it. So maybe I should be easy. I'll be easy. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm literally just going to take a few sips of this because my sandwich is too fucking hot. Which, honestly, the class is only an hour. So maybe I will be able to get a little nibble and then um, eat the rest of it when I get out. Because I'm sure I'll be starving when I get out. But I want to drink down some of this coffee because... My version of pre-workout because I was not trying to take pre-workout this morning and then be up all day. But I think I had literally just enough time. The studio is not even like six minutes from here. So. Yeah. And I got to change up my battery. So hopefully I can get you guys some footage um, and see if I struggle. Because I ain't going to lie. I really want to know if it's like literally worth what it's supposed to be worth. Or if it's just all like a trending hype right now. But I mean. Your first class is only five dollars, so I was like, "Let me just try. It. Let me just try it and see if I like it." Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I was wondering the camera was gonna was gonna shift, but it didn't. We're good. We're good in the hood. Okay. I'll see you guys at the studio because I got it, it's raining. The traffic. I, yeah. Um, that doesn't mean it has to be easier. You can resist the spring. Lighter 
your elbows at any point. Your chest stays really open and shoulders stay pulled away from the ears. So, and also the legs, you can squeeze them together, knees together, feet together. Make sure those ankles are right under the knees and on an exhale, you're gonna pull the navel in and tuck the pelvis and you're gonna roll it back. Sacrum, maybe to high waisted pants. And then inhale, exhale, roll it up. Chin to chest, upper abs, middle abs, lower abs. And then you're just stacking the spine, reaching through the crown of the head, okay? Keep the arms straight and chest open. Make sure that you're pulling out and getting that tuck of the pelvis. Really tuck in the pelvis. To give, give yourself more help with these, don't bend the elbows. Take the arms outside of the frame of the corner. Keep the arms straight. Good. Time your best to keep the feet down on the headrest. little footage for you guys but 10 out of 10 I love that like I'm awake now and energized but just in general like I loved all of that so what I can say is that well let me first start off with I'm trying to do Pilates for two reasons one I wanted to see honestly what all the hype was you know because all you little influencer girlies everybody right now doing Pilates everybody want to do Pilates everybody talking about it Pilates princess Pilates girl blah 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 blah, blah right so 
I was like, let me see what the hype's about. But I started looking into it and reading into it last week. And I noticed that it was like, oh, it's a lot for, you know, core stability and toning. Well, today in the class, I learned that. So pretty much everything, I don't know if you all seen a whole lot, but I know you could hear her, the instructor, is mind muscle connection. So, so it's a few days later and my energy level is different from what y'all just seen because my camera cut off of me talking about the class that I had the other day. So I'm actually in the same spot. I just got out of my class again today and... Let me go back into what I was saying. I had to rewatch that just now to make sure what I was talking about. So basically where I did bodybuilding, but what? <laughs> basically where I did bodybuilding for so long, I understand mind muscle connection and what that means. So if you don't know how to do that, Pilates is going to be really hard for you and also kind of feel like you're just doing motions and not getting a workout in. So the class I had the other day that I filmed for you guys that I got footage of, that was like a one out of 10, a six for me hard. I was like, okay, I can do this. Baby, today, honey, today was like, honestly, I was at like an 8.5 and a 9. And I'm doing a reformers all levels class. So that means that like one day me be one, why can I not talk? Probably because I'm hungry and I'm just not there yet, like focused. <laughs> um, one day maybe like more stretching and more just like, you know, just focusing on stretching the muscles and doing like some light abs and then there's classes like today where we did less stretching and more just like I want to say like actual like low impact hardcore Pilates if that makes sense I know it doesn't but if you know how to do my muscle connection and like it's just a lot of focus like today when we were doing like I'll say shoulder presses on the reformer machine like I was holding my legs back in like a superman position so I was squeezing my glutes squeezing my hamstrings squeezing my back making sure my elbows were out pushing forward and making sure that I wasn't, you know, overly flexing my wrist, wasn't moving my neck, keeping it out. See what I'm saying? You're always focusing on like four things plus at a time. So with that being said, if you guys don't know how to do mind muscle connection, it's going to take you a few classes to feel like this shit even works. So I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and give y'all a heads up on that. All right. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to feel like you're just in there, just kind of going through some motions, throwing your legs this way, your arms are just bleh, like, it it's it matters like it matters it's the same way as like with your training you got to focus on what muscle you're trying to target what muscles you're trying to target if you're doing multiple and really thinking about your reps and making every rep count so if she's doing like if she's like okay you're gonna grab your your bands you're gonna grab the inner part and you're going to go into like a straight down motion but you're not gonna bend your elbows you're really focusing on your lats and you're gonna squeeze if she says 10 reps of that those 10 reps need to count if you want to get the most for not only your money, but the most out of your workout. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be lying. Or I'm not going to lie. Like, I love this. I really love it. So, like, now I'm going to leave and go to a cardio session because that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to pair Pilates with my cardio day so that I would get a little more, like, honestly, abs, core stability, plus some cardio and not not neglect it because I really like bodybuilding training I think you guys know that if you guys are not new here you should definitely know that okay if you're not new um but like I just want my midsection to look better I feel like I've been looking low-key the same for like the last three years like I maintain a good physique in my opinion like I look like kind of like I work out kind of like I don't and in my version that's average and I just don't want to look average anymore like I want to look in my opinion like good like the best version of good to me also by the way speaking of all the hype i tried the celsius today um this is the kiwi guava i'm a slut for any kind of tropical flavor at all whether it's kiwi strawberry mango pineapple splash whatever the hell you want to call it i'm a slut for those type of flavors so i tried it and it's like you know zero sugar zero to i'm gonna be honest with you it's very light but i'm not a huge carbonation galley like they still like a little over a quarter of this, and I'm like, mm. um, by the way, also I wanted to do my Pilates fasted. I've not been doing it, so that's why I'm scheduling it for the earliest appointment so that I literally get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, fix my hair, put on my outfit, and I'm out the door. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to do it fasted. So, so far, baby, we love it. I just spent five minutes telling y'all, giving y'all tea, like the real tea. Basically, what I haven't heard from somebody else if you ain't knowing how to do it, you ain't gonna like it. Okay. So, give yourself a few tries. If you try it, by the way, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. So, I'm doing, like, the monthly unlimited, and it's, like, I think it was 160 which is not terrible. That's not terrible, and I live in Tennessee. Um, I don't know if that matters, but, yeah. So, now, we're going to go home. We're going to make some breakfast. I 
kind of want to go get some turkey bacon. Or do I want breakfast tacos? I ain't gonna lie to you. I finally got my avocado made like to my liking where it tastes really good with my eggs. And I'm pretty proud of myself. But at the same time, like, avocado toast, not only is it so fucking overdone, it's like, I gotta take it out of the avocado, I gotta mash it up, then I gotta mix it in the little glass, get the little ingredients flowing, then push it, put it on the, push it down on the toast. I mean, you know, I'm like, tacos, I just, in the skillet, throw it in the shell, eat them. You know what I need to do, though? I need to go get me some yoga socks. Since I'm liking this, I need to go get some socks. Plotty socks. Yoga socks. What the hell ever. The grip socks. Right now. And I bet you anything, Target or Walgreens has them. I just went to Target yesterday. I hate going to Target. I'm trying. I'm trying to be better about liking Target. But even yesterday when I went, I'm just like... <sighs> and then we've got brunch with Haley today. I kind of want to look cute after I paint like, my shower. I kind of want to like, blow dry my hair and look a little cute. But I don't know if I want to let makeup cute. So it's like, mm. And then we get our nails done later today. So and that's going to be about all we doing for the day. Alright. So let's go hit the cardio. Make this breakfast. Take a shower. I played myself. <clears throat> I can't even lie. This avocado toast is bussing. Bussing. Like, y'all, look at this. I cut it in half. Coda, hush. You see this? Y'all see that? Baby. Good as hell. And it's got like this chipotle bruschetta on it, so it's a little spicier than normal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna finish eating this. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready for brunch. Even though I know I'm about to go eat. I know. But I need a snack because, baby, my stomach goes rambling. And the cardio. And, baby, I didn't want to do it, but we did it. You know what that means? Dedicated. We're on a roll. That shit is so good. I'll see y'all when I'm done getting ready. Okay, so I'm ready for brunch. Um, I'm very much annoyed. Why is my camera doing that? Thank you. Uh, because this is not what I want to wear. So this same material of tank I was supposed to have in a long sleeve because it's what I really want to wear because it's warm outside. But it's not like, it's not spring yet even though I'm trying to push it. I'm trying to push it, okay? But this is what I'm wearing. So we have on this white tank with these like gray blue dress pant type of things, okay? But here's my issue. I'm gonna tilt y'all down. So I had to put on these black boots because, um, well, I'm a dumbass and put every bit of my sandals in storage, every single bit of them. So I would normally wear sandals with an outfit like this because, I mean, why not? But, um, yeah, they're the only thing that would look right with these flare leg pants. So, this outfit's gonna get like a, it's a six out of 10 for me. I don't really care for it. Um, and then I'm pairing it with this little black bag to try to tie in the black of the boots. I think I look ridiculous. I think I look like I'm going to work and this is the only work attire I own, so this is what I'm wearing. Uh, by the way, I did this cute little girly thing with my hair. But on the brighter note, let's talk about this face. The only thing I have on my skin, y'all, is freaking um, tinted sunscreen blush brown mascara and then my lip combo is the Rafa beauty um this nova rose that's not what it is fashion nova lip gloss in the shade no cap with the fenty gloss on top of it just a little bit in the middle baby 
this looks good. Like the skin, that's, you know, it's fine. But I'm real, real annoyed about this outfit. It's not what I wanna wear. So I will see you guys when we get to brunch. And the hair is a, also a six out of 10. Like uh, we weren't doing a wash and blow dry today, okay? Like I don't, I, that's all I got today.